Okay, so the first card is uh, the beauty card, and this is about making some kind of decision about how to move forward. So you are trying to, you can see there are two, um, are they fetuses or eggs uh, with little children in it? So you're trying to make a decision about how you want to move forward. And uh, maybe you have two relationships or two offers that are being presented to you. Something brand new coming in, actually, with this card of beauty. And, you know, trying to make a decision about what you want to do next. Now, you've been uh, spending a lot of time by yourself, it seems, doing a lot of thinking. Maybe you've been also involved in a lot of study, because this card is like the high priestess. And maybe following a lot of your instincts as well in, into what uh, to do next. And right now you're being presented with this choice and you're trying to uh, decide. So you are actually doing some very, very uh, deep thinking about what you want to do next. Now you've got the a sign of the rainbow over here. So this is overcoming any kind of difficulties, emotional problems that you've been going through. So whatever um, issues that have arisen from, um, you know, whatever um, love situation or relationship situation that you were dealing with, you will have um, been able to overcome it or you will be able to overcome it. And it looks like those problems are now coming to an end. So in the past, you've got the fate, so the, uh, fate card, which is talking about the Wheel of Fortune, really. So things have been changing for you. Um, you know, you might have been spending a lot of more time with friends, um, doing a lot more communication, maybe getting out of your, your shell that you were in. And, you know, you have this longing and desire to start maybe a family. You can see there's a family around her. There's little angels. Uh, you're trying to actually move forward. And, you know, you're setting um, intentions now. You're starting to set goals and intentions. You have a desire. You have a vision in your head about what you do. And this is maybe the reason why you're trying to make a choice as to which is the best way for you to uh, proceed forward. Now, you've got the uh, Descent card over here and the Memory card. So this is a card about feeling a little bit down, um, you know, um, feeling a bit miserable, um, maybe uh, a little bit depressed. And that, that's the energy coming in for the future. So you try not to get into that particular situation. Maybe somebody has deceived you uh, and you are thinking a lot about it and it is making you a little bit miserable. Um, it seems like maybe promises were made and they were not fulfilled. And this is, you know, bringing you down a little bit. Um, and you've been thinking a lot about it. You've got the memory card over here. So, uh, you know, you're spending a lot of time, um, you know, um, living the past, really. And you need to let that go in order for you to move forward because these events have gone. They're finished, um, you know. And even though that person may have been deceptive and they might have been very controlling as well, uh, you know, maybe they conned you into something that you didn't want to do. Um, you need to actually give that up, leave that in the past, and you need to move forward. You can see this person is lying dead on the ground over here. So it's you need to bury the past, really, and you need to move forward and stop thinking about it. Because whatever you're thinking about is bringing your spirits down. It's bringing you, make, bringing you down, really. It's depressing you. And it is time for you to cut that out of your past, uh, cut that out of your present, rather, and move forward. So you need to cut out all those old memories, stop remembering all the things that went wrong, and start looking forward to the future. And this is that, maybe this is why you have to make that decision to move forward. You have to see the beauty of the future. You have to have that hope for the future in order for you to move forward. You've got this bird over here and you need to lift. You see this bird is not flying at the moment, but is ready to fly. So you are ready to make that particular change in your life. Um, and But you need to stop living in the past. Stop thinking about the past. And maybe get out there and, and stop being alone so much. Spend some time, more time with friends. This will, uh, you know, give you a new perspective on things. So those are the energies for those two weeks. <coughs> so I'm using the Symbolon Tarot here. And, uh, well, the Symbolon deck, uh, which is not quite a tarot deck. Um, but we're going to use it for the general read today. Okay, so the bottom of the deck, you've got this vampire card over here. And, you know, you're dealing with somebody 
who's really very much a psychic vampire. So somebody that is draining your energy, uh, you know, trying to uh, get control over you, uh, but really draining your energy. So they they might be somebody who's very, you know, um, aggressive or somebody who is, uh, you know, it's very difficult to get away from them, whoever this person is. You've got Mars here in uh, Aries. So it's somebody who is very dominant. Um, and maybe that this is how uh, you, you're not able to get over that situation because they are draining uh, that energy from you. It's not a very, very good relationship. It seems to be very toxic. So it's, uh, or this person seems to be rather toxic and rather controlling. So it is really uh, time for you to cut that particular tie there's a little bit of uh, you know with scorpio uh on the card it's talking about a little bit of obsession a of uh, you know a bit of control there's control issues going on over here and you've got pluto here in scorpio so this is a time for you to actually cut this particular tie you need to cut this um uh, um relationship off because this person is very very controlling and maybe they use very aggressive means to control you as well because they've got this mars here in aries so you know very dominating person but they are draining you they are a psychic vampire now you have issues with this person so what's going on with you uh there might be you know you have a separation going on over here and you've got this man trying to pull the sword out of this uh, rock over here. So you might be dealing with some legal issues uh, in this relationship. So maybe you, the two of you have separated because this is the card of separation or splitting up uh, because of arguments. There seems to be a sword between the two of you and the swords you usually talk about legal issues. So you might be going through a divorce or some kind of legal separation. Or there could also be, you know, that you're having a lot of arguments and fighting. Now this man is trying to pull the sword out of this uh, rock over here. So maybe whatever this legal issue that you're having with this person uh you know you're not really getting any joy from it so you know it, it might be a situation where um you know you're not winning uh, you're putting a lot of effort or things are being done, but it doesn't seem like things are moving in your favor because you can see this man's making a lot of effort to move the sword out of this rock and it is not budging. So, um, you know, also you're putting a lot of, uh, maybe you put a lot of uh, effort into this relationship and nothing paid off. It was a waste of your time. You can see this man is really, uh, you know, upset about it. So there could be a lot of anger going on uh, between the two of you and maybe that legal issue that is happening between the two of you is not working out. There's definitely, um, um, the communication is definitely cut off between the, the two of you. So there's no communication. You may have cut that person off or that person may have cut you off. But whatever effort went into that particular relationship has not paid off and it was really generally a waste of time. And maybe that legal issue that is um, going on is not going in your favor as well. So you're not uh, winning or you don't feel like you're winning in this particular situation. Uh, there might be a lot of restrictions. You've got Saturn here in Capricorn over here. This is talking about restrictions or, um, you know, uh, people... Um, um, cutting you off or you cutting that person off um, you know severing ties with that person but whatever is going on it seems to be a very a situation that's very stuck a, a stalemate situation where nothing seems to be budging but there's a lot of arguments are going on there's also a lot of aggression because you've got mars and aries in both these cards so this is talking about a lot of aggression and uh, you know even this uh, vampire card is about uh, mars in aries as well so whoever this person is this could be a fire sign person that you're dealing with it could be an aries person that you're dealing with but you are not getting anywhere in this um whatever this relationship is it seems to be very stuck and you're not stuck in a good place it's it's it seems to be a very toxic relationship as well so in the past you've got um you know trying to uh bring this relationship uh in balance you've got uh, venus here in uh, libra so there was trying you were trying to bring uh, some kind of balance into this relationship you had visions you had ideas about where you wanted this relationship to go uh, you know you wanted that stable home you wanted the, a family you had all these visions in your head uh, all these dreams that you wanted to pursue but it seems like this person that you were with uh, was not of the same uh, you know they were not on on the same page as you they were very, very dominating. This is a very, very codependent relationship. You can see there's the devil in the background over here, and this woman is chained to this man. This man has got the sword in his hands. So it seems like the person that you were with was the one that was in control, and they used their words, their thoughts. Maybe they controlled even how you think or what you did, and it was a very, very toxic relationship that you've been in. Uh, you know, and um, 
It was also a relationship that you've wanted to end, but haven't. Maybe you didn't have the power to end it. It seems like you know you. Uh, this person really disempowered you within this particular situation. So a, a very very toxic codependent relationship. And since you've got that psychic vampire card over here, it seems like they drew a lot of your energies, and you were not really uh, able to control it. Now maybe you did want a marriage with this person because this is the card of marriage. Um, you know, trying to build a future together, uh, trying to get stability, and this had been playing on your mind um, you know you wanted to grow with this person expand with this person you know, maybe you wanted spiritual growth with this person because you've got this Jupiter here in uh, Sagittarius and this is talking about you know reaching higher levels uh, within your uh, relationship but obviously this has not come to fruition here let's put that down so um, going into the future Whoever you're dealing with is very, very aggressive. Uh, you've got the Aries card over here. So this is Mars and Aries. They fight quite a bit. Uh, you know, um, they're quite dominating as well. So uh, it seems like, you know, there's you've got a person lying dead over there. So it seems as though whatever arguments and fights come in, maybe they're very, very aggressive. And they have very, very sharp tongues. They're very sarcastic. So this is the kind of energy you're dealing with. There's a lot of arguments, fights. This card is very, very red. So, it's, you know, it's it's showing that there's so much of aggression, um, you know. And if you say something, maybe they cut you down to size uh, before you can actually get your message across. You're trying to move on. This is what's going on with you. But, you know, whatever they're doing to you is in, it's almost like an impediment. It's almost preventing you from moving forward quickly enough. So you have got a vision about moving forward. You are on your path to moving forward. But you can see this man's leg is broken. So, And he's got a crutch. Maybe you are very dependent on this person. And you're using them as a crutch. There might be some financial uh, issues. That, you know, maybe you have some kind of dependence on them. It could be a financial dependence as well. But whatever it is, it's not allowing you to move forward quickly or it's not allowing you to move forward at all and there's a lot of obstacles uh, in your path so uh, something is blocking you from getting out of that situation or even being uh, independent you're finding it very very difficult you need this person for something there's some kind of issue that um, you know you rely on them for there's something that you use them as a crutch for uh, it could be an emotional crutch, like I said, but it could also be a financial crutch. There's something that you need them for, and uh, without them, it's going to be very, very difficult for you to actually leave the situation. Now, what's going on around you? They're doing things, or there's something about them that scares you. Maybe there's a, a threat uh, of some sort. Um, this could also be, you know, expecting that worst case scenario. Something may have happened all of a sudden and, you know, this shocked you as well. Um, you want to get out of the situation, it seems, but uh, maybe... Maybe you really don't know how. This is the card of the Furies, which is, you know, something happening. Uh, this could also be being, you know, feeling as though the worst is going to happen, being paranoid that if I get out of here, everything is going to just fall apart. And uh, even though they've done something that has upset you and it's been very toxic, because you can see this person is, you know, the Medusa, the head full of snakes, um, and she's holding a snake in her hand, you're very worried that whatever they're doing is going to have repercussions or consequences on your life. So you are worried that they might retaliate if you do anything. And uh, so it's it's been very difficult for you to get out of that situation. You are feeling very manipulated and very controlled. You've got the card of the marionette over here. So almost as though you're a puppet on a string for this person. So they are uh, really, really controlling your, um, you know, whatever you're, um, you're doing. So going into the future, you've got this card about, you know, um, this is about having false beliefs, um, you know, thinking about uh, things or having uh, um, negative thoughts uh, that the worst is going to be to happen. So you really need to change your belief system in the sense that, you know, you have to be positive. This is a card about being really negative, you know, being feeling very miserable, feeling as though there's no support from anybody around you. And uh, then you've got the uh, Crusader card over here. And, um, you know, the Crusader card is about doing something regardless about of what the, the consequences are going to be. So this is taking back your power as well. So there seems to have been a lot of arguments, problems, issues over here. You can see this uh, city's on fire over here. So maybe whatever happens... Uh, around you is very, very, um, you know, um, there's a lot of drama. There's a lot of fighting, a lot of arguments, maybe there's even destruction. Maybe the person that you're dealing with is a very, very aggressive person. Whatever they say, they want, um, you know, they want their way. This person's um, with uh, this crusader is with the sword, so maybe whatever they're doing, uh, you know, is a very aggressive situation.
On the other hand, this could be about bringing in some kind of seeking some kind of legal advice or maybe deciding to pursue this from a legal point of view. So this could be, um, you know, seeking legal counseling or even going, um, you know, um, uh, to the legal system to help you get over the situation that is not serving you. You can see, uh, you know, this crusader going into this difficult situation over here. He's facing that uh, card over here about false beliefs. So you do need to get some kind of advice, uh, you know, or you might need to get some legal intervention uh, within this particular situation. And you need to stop beating yourself up and stop feeling as though, uh, you know, you are the cause of all these problems. You're going through this uh, particular period of heartbreak. You are feeling very restricted because this person's in a very, very small room with a very, very small window. And the window's got bars on it. So you are limiting yourself quite a bit. You're not moving on. You're not, uh, you know, going out. You might be spending time by yourself. And you're beating yourself up. You've been doing a lot of uh, soul searching. You've got the Bible over here. And, you know, you're trying to find the answers as well. But you're also blaming yourself for a lot of things. Maybe you feel as though you're very disempowered and you don't have the strength to actually get out. So you need to get out of that, uh, um, you know, that feeling as though you don't have uh, enough power to get out of it. Whatever this person is doing and they're controlling you, they are actually draining your power away draining away your personal power and you need to actually reclaim that so you do need to get some kind of advice some kind of input um, you know to get yourself out of that situation and you need to be single-minded you need to think about yourself first before you think about anybody else and what everybody else wants us so try not to please anybody you need to move on uh, because it seems like this person is rather aggressive and they cause a lot of problems for you as well and whatever you're doing, whatever situation you're facing, you know, you, um, it seems like whatever effort you're putting into it is not paying off. You're, uh, maybe you're the one that's taking all, putting all the effort into that relationship, trying to make it happen, and it's not working because this person is a very controlling person, and it seems like they're not listening to you at all. So I'm just going to draw some cards from the um, Archangel Power Tarot. And the first card is the wheel, which says new beginnings, ends of delay, a change in direction that offers happiness. So it looks like the wheel of fortune is going to be coming in for you and big changes are going to come in. So if you can't make the change, the universe is going to make it for you. You've got the two of aerial, so it's important to have balance, working multiple jobs or projects at once and making work fun. So it looks like there's some kind of decision that you will have to make with this two of aerial. Uh, and this is going to be something that, um, you know, takes you out of the situation. You've got the six of Gabriel over here, which says, congratulations, you've done a wonderful job. Time to move to the next project, awards, scholarships or promotions. Now, the six of Gabriel is the six of rods. So this is a victory after lots of difficulty. So it looks like you will make a decision. And once you make that decision, find that balance in your life, there will be victory. So you need to claim your personal power. Six of Air Gabriel is about uh, reclaiming that power and then winning in that situation. So you will be victorious, but you do need to take your power back and move forward. You see this man's on a horse and he is trying to move forward. So the Wheel of Fortune will come in and will change the circumstance that you're going through. So I hope this reading has resonated with you. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and leave me some comments. And all the best. Thank you so much for watching. Take care now. Goodbye.